we made our way back to Stamford Bridge to try out some more Chelsea FC hospitality for the match versus Arsenal. Because it was an earlier kickoff at 12 p.m., we arrived at about 9 a.m. and made our way towards the Chelsea Mega Store. Terrible weather and a bit of time before our hospitality areas opened, so we made our way inside to have a quick look around. You probably know by now we quite enjoy having a look around club shops and gotta say this one is quite impressive. Loads of merchandise on offer and there is a trophy cabinet as well with a European Cup. A few more of the trophies that Chelsea have won are also on display and something else we found was this. Quite a few of these players featuring at the World Cup. At about 10 a.m. it was back outside into the rain with a short walk to the Copthorne Hotel. And as you walk alongside the shed wall, you can read up on some Chelsea legends. As you approach the Copthorne Hotel, make sure you've got your phone at the ready with your tickets ready to be checked. There is then escalator access upstairs as you make your way towards the 55 restaurant. And there can be a bit of a queue getting inside, so make sure you arrive early if you do want to make the most of your time inside the restaurant. The 55 restaurant opens about two hours before kickoff and there is a short wait before you're taken to your table. Before you're taken to your table, your ticket will be checked again at the reception. Into the medium sized restaurant with a load of different sized tables and a smart casual dress code. You're then given a wristband which does allow you access at full time. By this point, it was late morning, so we definitely needed to make our way up to the unlimited breakfast buffet for some food. And for breakfast, there's loads of things on offer, including a cooked breakfast all the way through to waffles, fruits and yogurts. Went for a first round of bacon and egg, then made my way back to my table. Staff are also on hand to take your drinks order from the unlimited open bar. Whilst tucking into breakfast, I then had a read through of the main menu and made my order. Then had a read through of the match day program. And a definite highlight of this package is the main course. The ribeye steak was amazing. A good selection of desserts and sweet treats on offer, and it's a case of helping yourself. We went for an apple crumble, and this was pretty good as well. It's then a good idea to leave the restaurant about 20 minutes before kickoff. This will give you enough time to make your way back outside and around the stadium towards the West End. It is just a short walk to the West End, but there can be queues outside before you can get in. E-tickets at the ready on your phone before you scan at the turnstiles, then make your way into the West Stand. And when you get inside the West Stand, again, it can get quite busy, so you're going to want to make sure you know where you're going and make sure you've held on to your 55 restaurant wristband. A bit more on that later on. Five to 10 minutes before kickoff, it's then up a few sets of steps. And keep your e-ticket open because staff members will be able to point you in the right direction. And to your allocated seat, ready for the start of the match. Tickets are from €209, Euros, depending on the match, and can be bought through Champions Travel. And this was for the 22-23 season. As mentioned earlier, don't forget your hospitality wristband because after the match, you can make your way back to the bar for some complimentary drinks and some post-match analysis. One final question for you guys, and that is, where should we go for the next padded seat?